This morning, Hurricane Helene now ranks among the deadliest storms to hit the U.S. in modern history, with more than 130 deaths now confirmed in six states. This is a massive coordinated effort to help this area both in the short term and in the long term. As of last night, more than 600 people were unaccounted for in Buncombe County, North Carolina, where communications have been down and roads are impassable. Main roads into Asheville were washed away or blocked by mudslides. The city's water system also badly damaged. This group of realtors is collecting water for the community. We just felt like we needed to do something. When I woke up on Saturday morning, I still had power. I still had my family. I knew where they were, and other people can't say that. North Carolina's governor says FEMA has delivered 1 million liters of water and 600,000 meals. Helene hit Florida's Gulf Coast last week as a Category 4 hurricane, moving through Georgia, the Carolinas, and Tennessee, where the ground was already saturated from days of rain. National Guard's members from at least eight states as far away as Iowa and Connecticut have been deployed to North Carolina to help in the response and recovery effort. In neighboring Tennessee, a plastics manufacturer says several workers went missing or died in the flooding. These images circulating online were reportedly taken from an employee who survived by escaping in the back of a tractor trailer. <laughs> Families are now demanding answers, claiming workers were told not to leave as the floodwater rose. The company says most employees left immediately, but some remained at the facility or nearby for an unknown reason, adding at no time were employees told that they would be fired if they left the facility. For employees who were non-English speaking, bilingual employees delivered the message. President Biden is expected to visit North Carolina tomorrow. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.